All right, welcome back to another episode of the Pipe Story, brought to you by Pipes and Picking, and this is we'll call it a Bogo episode. It is a pipe review, another Laroca pipe review, and my very first uh, <coughs> tobacco review. And I just got this pipe in the mail yesterday from an eBay auction. It is another LaRocca. Uh, the only markings that I have on it are, of course, the Italy at the base of the shank, and then it just says Dew. All right. I don't know much about it, but this is my first Diplomat. Diplomat pipe shape, and y'all, I'm digging this pipe shape. I may have a new favorite pipe shape here, and this pipe is... Uh, it's going to work its way heavy into my rotation. I love this pipe. I got it. Uh, cleaned it up. Uh, it actually been it was actually pretty clean uh, when I got it. And y'all, to kind of give a little heads up on another episode where I talk about some you know, secrets to eBay... Y'all, a brand new LaRocca goes 70, 80. Some go up in 90. Uh, 20 bucks. If you keep your powder dry and take your patience, you can get a great pipe on eBay and kind of know what you're looking for. Uh, absolutely love. This pipe, as y'all know, the uh, the diplomat pipe shape sort of stays in the family of an apple. Um, I love this bulge right here. They kind of take the apple and squish it. I guess that's the technical term. Uh, it's kind of a, a squished apple, so it's got a nice thick bowl right here. Um, lots doesn't doesn't heat up or doesn't get overly hot at all. Pretty generous bowl, uh, water bowl. Um, kind of been a billiard and I, I kind of like that drill uh, the smoke hole goes right in the heel of the bowl beautiful stain beautiful grain original you can see it's got the LR still got some of the coloring on it 20 bucks And I think I might have been the only bidder. So that's another reason why I like the LaRocas, as I said before, is that I found a good pipe maker that I like and one that uh not a pretty pretty low market for. So you find some of these people that sell estates that have good reputations. Every once in a while they'll they'll get a LaRocca out there. And there's very little, very little market on. Now, I'm probably giving away my secrets, but oh well. I'm, I really want to see, would really like to see LaRocas become more out there, so. And as any pipe I try out, I try my favorite tobacco. And as we know from previous episodes um, that I've done, my favorite pipe tobacco is a relatively newish blend out of Cornell and Deal. It's not, uh, it's one that they did when the FDA started doing their, um, started making their uh, regulations. And so Cornell and Deal started putting a bunch of batches together to get ahead of some of the grandfather rule. And one of them is uh, Old Court. So because of Sully's challenge out there and thinking about it and going through uh, Cherry on Tops, talking about the hype and things like that, I'm putting a new review out there. This is my first review, starting with my favorite tobacco. And that's the BOGO part of it because I'm reviewing, talking about a new pipe, talking about a, doing a tobacco review. And uh, so here we go. Now before I get started, uh, I'm gonna try my best not to do some of the, um, I guess the hipster wording or hipster phrasing for for some of the words, but 
the same time, I think that as we do these reviews as the YTPC community, there needs to be some sort of uh, common language between the um, between the reviews. Like for instance, um, when I say that this pipe is in English, uh, tobacco is in English, that automatically brings some sort of idea of the flavors and some of the components some of the hints that um, automatically gonna come to it because you know we've smoked in English. If I say a vapor, if I say a Virginia, there's automatically gonna be some idea of what the, um, some of the basics of the notes that you're gonna get from it. Uh, it may not be perfect, but at least it gets you in the mindset. And so if I say it's smoky or it's peppery, uh, then you know, I think that we have to be careful not to throw the baby out with the bathwater and that there's some things that we need to kind of keep stable and, and consistent across the YTPC pipe review or tobacco reviews. Uh, so this is in English. So automatically you're gonna get, you think in Latakia notes, um, you may be thinking the spicy Perique, although not all English is carried Perique. It kind of gets you in the mindset. It is a mild English. It's not. Uh, it's not a Latakia bomb. The Latakia is actually probably secondary. It does have burley, and according to the re tobacco reviews, it's it's burley, Latakia, Cavendish, and um, some Perique and some Virginia. So it's got a lot of flavors going on, but they all really mix together well. Um, the first note that you're going to taste is sort of like the uh, a nutty kind of taste, and it's it's kind of like a a walnut without the sweet, kind of like a pecan. That's the way I'd probably describe the primary note. One of the things I like about it, and I had trouble placing the uh, the smoke notes, kind of what that smoky note smells like. It's Smells like a really good campfire, but and this may not communicate to everybody, but it's got it, it. The smoke note is almost a cypress. If you've been in a cypress house, and it's very prevalent in the South, you know, Southern U.S. and especially in this part of the world in North Mississippi, um, it, it's got more of like a cypress. It's not quite pine. It's not cedar. Um, it's a little more musky than that. It's a, uh, it's more of a cypress on how I got that idea. It's for Christmas, my wife got me, you know, apparently I'm a dirty guy. And so you get, my wife gets me these little hand soaps for my bathroom. And I was cleaning my hands, probably from cleaning pipes or working outside. And I noticed that it, uh, I was like, God, that smells good. And I looked at it. It's a cypress smell, so it's, again, it doesn't taste like sucking on cypress wood, but it has sort of that cypressy smell to it, or that cypressy feel to it. So it's not that Latakia bomb. That's what a lot of people that say they don't like English is because it's too strong, it's too much of a Latakia bomb. This isn't it, it's a milder English. It's definitely the perique, the, that spicy pepper um, kind of comes in underneath it. Uh, it it's, it's not prevalent, but it's not barely there. It's kind of, it's almost, you can literally taste it after you taste the, that cypress smoky uh, pecan flavor. And also the Cavendish that's in there, that sweet taste. I couldn't find anything about it, but it's almost like what they will call it, like an unsweetened or lightly sweetened um, Cavendish. It's one I use, it's similar to the one I use in my blending called Green River. It's not overly sweet. And it's not, you wouldn't smoke this in the first thing say, wow, that's a sweet tobacco, that's a sweet smoke. It's not sweet, but it's, it's definitely there kind of muting it and it's it's so it's sort of like a 
the flavor with mixing in with the, the nutty is almost sort of like a, a you've had a king cake or a, a sweet pastry that's not very sweet but that sweet kind of is layered under me, underneath it it definitely supports the uh, it definitely supports the spice There's a little bit of a co like a dark cocoa flavor underneath it. That's kind of like putting, and this may be sacrilege for somebody, but it's kind of like putting uh, cocoa powder in a chili, where there's all those flavors in there, but that cocoa powder just kind of uh, mutes it and smooths out everything. You could where you could still taste it. But it kind of adds a, a very lightly sweet, almost creamy kind of taste underneath it. Where it's not a chocolate tobacco or chocolate chili. It's, uh, it's just got that, that it kind of holds it together. So, I mean, that's really it. Uh, If there's anything that I could say negative against it, it also kind of just, just got a little bit of it. It's, it does have that sort of, and I like this, it's got sort of that leathery, earthy taste of the Latakia back there too. A lot of stuff going on in this tobacco. Which ain't a bad thing. I want to make sure I get all the stuff I want to say about it out before I, before I wrap it up. But, yeah. One of the, again, I was going back to this. One of the bad things I will say about this tobacco is that it burns quick. And, of course, you're going to say, well, it's your favorite tobacco. You want it to last forever. Yeah, but this, uh, it does burn down pretty quick. It doesn't burn hot. Um but it just, it burns through pretty quickly. So, it summarize what I'd say about this tobacco is, I mean, it is in English, so that kind of brings to mind certain flavors. Um, but you've got sort of a light, sweet smoke that goes towards what I would call a cypress. Uh, it's not quite cedar, not quite pine, kind of slides in on that cypress side. Um, it's got some perique, but that perique is not overpowering, overbearing. Um, and it's the Cavendish kind of adds a nice, sweet under undertaste to it. So you do taste that little bit of that Latakia leather with the cypress, and then right behind it, you know, as you as you as you smoke it, you'll get that sweet. You'll get a sweet uh, peppery taste to it as well. And um, so again, if you kind of like those flavors in your uh, in your in your tobacco. Give it a try. If you're looking for, if you're not an English fan, <clears throat> I'd still recommend this um, because it's a little bit different than the other than it, than a lot of other Englishes. Now I like Latakia bombs, but it's a little bit different than the other Englishes out there. So it's a good it's a good step for it. If you are an English fan, uh, it's a little bit different too. It's a little bit fun play on the on Englishes. So that's what I go with. It's definitely worth. It's not overpriced. I forget the prices, but it's not an overpriced, expensive tobacco. It comes tinned um, in the red in the red tin that Cornell and Deal does. Um, it does come bulk on smoking pipes. Um, pipes and cigars will have it. Uh, tobacco pipes. I don't remember because I don't really go to them very often. Um, but that's uh, you. You can find it pretty easily. But it's not everywhere. So, um, go hit those up. And it does, like I said, it does come bulk, pretty good bulk prices. So, you know, it's definitely worth worth picking up. And I'll be glad to share a little bit of it if you're interested. I'll be glad to share a little bit of it uh, with the YTPC. So, hit me up if you want that. I'll be glad to make a little trade, too, on some stuff. So, anyway, y'all keep on piping, y'all keep on picking, and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks.